This is exactly what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Woo! Custom game. Over kill. I gotta pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Prank him, John. Damn, boy, he did. Why won't you die? Omae wa mou shinde iru. Nani? Enemy spotted. This is something else. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Bro, these infected ain't shit. For the love of God! Shot me out. Like, what is happening? Can, can I can, can I get in the car, please? Can I get in the car? Can I get in the car? Please? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yep. Yep, I yeah I know I'm 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 unable to join. I yeah I get it. Yeah I I know. I know. Stop fucking. To me to kill them all. Ah, well, this is nice. Hello there, guys, gals, ladies, and gentlemen. My name is Lapaladen. I hope you enjoyed that absolutely disgusting series of edits, but I thought it was necessary to give you all a taste of the massive variety that the Custom Games browser has. 
Oh yeah, um, 343 actually did something good for once and we have a very rare W for Halo. The custom games browser was added into the game several months early and I've been playing it religiously ever since it came out. The assortment of weird, wacky and wonderful game types and maps that I've had the pleasure of playing on has been nothing short of amazing. The attention to detail that some of these maps have and the workarounds that the community has made to get game modes like Infection working is a real testament to the passion that so many have for Halo. Is it perfect? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. There are still a lot of issues with loading times, crashes, joining or adding friends and network problems. But now that the browser is actually out and we're getting the chance to use it, hopefully 343 will be taking notes of some of the major issues that people are experiencing and will make it more robust in the near future. Infinite as a whole is looking like a much more content complete package, but it still has a long way to go before it's in a truly polished state. But right now, hey, I ain't gonna argue, this is a good consolation present. People are actually socializing in these lobbies too. They're using the social features. Who would have who would have thought, right? It's completely unbelievable in this game. They're using game and text chat to talk to one another. And 343 devs have gotten in on the action too. It was nice playing with you on Diglets, by the way, Unishek, though if I wasn't on 150 ping, I would have smoked you. 100%. No questions asked, guaranteed. And I'm failing to mention the elephant in the room as well. Steam Workshop support for the Master Chief Collection dropped not long after the Custom Games browser did, which is also helping to open the door for people to play their favorite classic games with a fresh set of eyes. And experience all the cursed stuff in there as well, of which there is quite a bit. While these two new additions maybe haven't bumped up the player count as much as some would have hoped, and it hasn't suddenly made Halo the number one game in the world again like many four foolishly believed, this is at least a start and a step in the right direction. Halo has always been at its best, and I firmly believe this, but it's always been at its best when it's offering a variety of experiences to players. And now there's more variety than ever before. You can go from playing Speed Halo on Infinite to a faithful graphical remaster of Combat Evolved in Halo 3's engine. You're upset that Infinite doesn't have an official Firefight PvE experience? Well, try out Ultimate Sandtrap Firefight, or maybe COD Zombies with bots. It's actually a lot of fun. There's never been a better time to be a member of Halo's creative communities. Custom gamers, forgers, modders, it's all happening right now. So, if you're one of those people who has become a bit apathetic towards Infinite and Halo in general, like I have in recent months, I would really encourage you to try the custom games browser and scroll through the Steam Workshop to see if there's something that takes your fancy. I think this sets a good precedence for the future of Halo, and if nothing else, we know that the community has our back when it comes to delivering fresh and fun new content. I would clap my hands, but I, um, I can't move them. I can't, I can't move my hands. I stuck on the gun, I can't move my hands. I thank you for this surprise 343, a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one, and an even bigger thank you to all the modders and forgers who have stuck through the dry patch and given disgruntled folks like myself something we can sink our teeth into while the rest of Infinite catches up to our expectations. And most importantly, for giving us a little bit of hope. You wouldn't subscribe. You're way scared.